Hello again people, right, um, for a possible reversal on um, <clears throat> on uh, various pairs, not this particular one, but um, they didn't reverse and what that then tells me is that uh, it's highly likely that, uh, say for example this um, AJ chart here, sorry I just got distracted then, this AJ chart, big old H4 candles, massive run. Look where it's running into lots and lots of resistance. Here, here and here. Three levels. So um, what tends to happen if it doesn't make lower lows when it hits resistance and it tests and retests, it has to end up breaking out because these are uh, supply areas and as the supply or the selling becomes less and less obviously they get weaker and weaker so potentially this could go long or it could go short the chances of going long are probably a little bit higher than shorting it now but having said that if we break a massive level of uh, resistance sorry my mouse isn't working properly um, if we break a massive level of resistance then we do expect a reversal don't ask me why, um, I don't really care to be honest with you, all I care is that it's high probability and providing I follow my rules which are the reversal rules that I talk about in virtually every video I uh, make because it's the same, it's the way I trade and that's the beauty about the system, there is no difference to it, it always remains the same. So if you can learn that from my videos and you can learn it from me then hopefully you should be able to trade it just as well as I can. Uh, it's simple really. So we have got some levels here that we could draw on. We've got that high there. Uh, we're on the daily remember. We've got this high here. We've got the high that's uh, been broken uh, nearest to the right hand side. That is what I would expect price to potentially test, but it doesn't have to. Nothing ever has to happen in um, price movement. Basically, all we do is monitor what does happen and then try to capitalise on the logical way the trade will um, uh, act, as it were. The, the price movement will act. So H4, we could start... Those bangs are bird scarers. Sorry, I'm in the middle of the country. And they are annoying. Um, we can draw the levels starting on the M15 and just start to uh, build up a, a um, plan and that's all I do. That is my trading plan, these levels and they can be yours too because they are unambiguous. There is no ambiguity here. You just draw the lines on the levels and when they break which is quite rare in other words you know when the lines are break and close a reversal is triggered then all you have to do is wait for the um, pullback so in this instance this M15 was triggered and um, it failed we wouldn't have taken the trade because it hadn't you know, it, it, it had pulled back and it had reversed on itself straight away. There's the reversal level. So this reversal up cancelled this reversal down. We didn't get caught into a uh, bad trade. And then you carry on and you carry on and you carry on. And now we've got a situation where this high has been broken by this one. So that then becomes the penultimate low, the reversal low, whatever you want to call it. And providing the high of this candle doesn't get broken, then that remains the same. If the high of that candle gets broken, we delete that and we use the, this then becomes the new penultimate candle. And we just keep doing that, going up and up and up while the price goes up until it finally turns around and then we start to observe things. It turns round, we watch the um, reversal to the upside if it cancels itself we've been saved from getting in the wrong direction and in this whole move up 
there has only been by the looks of it one potential reversal I'm not interested in getting short here because we're well below the um, ADR at that point this is where I am interested in getting into the reversal because we are well above the ADR it is simple as that uh, so there was no trade to the downside on this no reversal and then on the daily we've got that massive candle so what would I be looking for in the Asian session if I was awake then I would be looking for a pullback to the downside so that's it guys that's your uh, uh, lesson in how to make your trading plan and just you know have a cup of coffee every 15 minutes you know and then make sure of course that uh, your um, RSI is in agreement with you so in this 15 minute example that we looked at there ideally the RSI should be red and preferably on the higher time frame as well so yes it is so that was something that would be on your radar because it ticks numerous boxes and if we consider trading the reversal based on the M15 then the target would have been a really lovely target actually because there is no resistance or um, support in the way of this level here so that's the gap that we could have traded that potential reversal down had it done its stuff so there's a nice clear clear air of about 12 pips there bearing in mind you probably would have had a pullback my mouse is playing up a continuation to the downside and then uh, your trade so that's all we're ever trading guys clean clear uh, unambiguous levels okay um, and that's it so looks like there's a few daily charts setting up for potential reversals uh, do your own homework if you're watching this at uh, the start of your day it's the end of my day so I'm gonna chill out and watch some uh, crap on the telly okay thanks for watching have a great evening